Hey guys, Lyra Lynx here, and I have a little bit of free time. I finished my presentations for my classes today, my final presentations, so that's great. I only have like one more essay to write, and since I feel like I have the time to squeeze it in now because I've gotten so much out of the way at this point, I wanted to go back down Nostalgia Lane and continue reading chapter 19 of Dance at Dusk here. So. I'm very interested to see where this is going to take me. Let's just get right into it. Chapter 19 Day 8. The dance is almost here. Don slept in late, tired from staying up, at n up late at night to watch the stars. Paul was the one to arouse her. After all the time she has sprayed him with water, yelled at him, forced him into things, and embarrassed him, it was his turn to irritate her. The question was, what should he do? First of all, he took out his paint kit. He dabbed the brush in some black paint and put a handlebar mustache on Dawn's face. Then he painted the word idiot on her forehead. Finally, he doodled on her cheeks. She looked really silly. Paul knew that what he was doing was childish, but he didn't really care. What else is childish is all these mistakes. Ooh. Once he was done scribbling on her face, in one swift movement, he pulled the blanket out from her and caused her to fall onto the floor. Don growled and glared at Paul. I hate you. Paul held back his laughter. You'll hate me more once you take a look at yourself in the mirror. Don had a foreboding feeling. Paul, what did you do to me? Paul grabbed a small mirror lying on the table. Have a look for yourself. Don hissed when she saw her painted face. She ripped the paint set out of Paul's hands and painted a big red X across his face. Then she stormed off, locking herself in the bathroom. Reggie laughed as he walked out from his hiding place. He'd been watching the whole thing. Reggie put a hand on Paul's shoulder to steady himself. <laughs> nice one. Paul pushed Reggie away from him. I was just joking with her. Reggie stopped laughing and looked over at Paul. You realize today is the dance, don't you? No. No, he hadn't realized. Today was the day Don had so looked forward to, and he decided to start the day off by pissing her off. Smooth move, Paul. The rest of the afternoon went by awkwardly. Don made lunch and barely spoke with Paul. To be honest, Paul didn't like the atmosphere. He wanted Don to be all chatty and annoying and troublesome. Finally, he said something. Don, are you mad at me? Don looked at him as if he were the most ignorant person on the planet. What do you think? Of course I'm mad! You painted all over my face! It took forever to get it all off! What was this feeling that Paul was getting? Guilt? Not exactly. Was he sad? That No, that wasn't it. He didn't know what this feeling was, but he wanted to make her happy again. Paul stood up and grabbed her wrist. Come on, we have some time before that stupid dance, so let's go to the park. Last time we went there, I only made you upset, so let's make some good memories there. Don blushed. She suddenly felt like she was walking on air. All her anger drained away, and she, w all she wanted to do was be around Paul. Paul practically pulled her out of the house, desperate to make her smile again. Reggie watched happily, sipping from a coffee cup as he watched them leave. I never thought I'd be an uncle. <laughs> he cleaned up the mess Don and Paul had left behind, then collapsed on the couch. Take good care of her, Paul. If you don't, it won't be a skit. I'll literally kill you. <laughs> oh, man. Don smiled as she inhaled the sweet scent of the leaves and dirt. The park seemed so calm and peaceful. It made her feel so happy. It was like nothing else mattered but this one moment in time. The only thing that made this beautiful park better was the fact that Paul was here with her. Paul, the ignorant guy she loved. She got on one of the wooden swings and looked over at Paul, staring at his perfect features. She blushed when he stared back over at her. Paul, push me, she called over to him, rocking on the swing. He smirked over at her. What are you, four years old? Don stared over at him, eyes gleaming evilly. I'm not in the mood for your insults. Just push me. You were the one who said to make some memories. Paul sighed, angry that she'd used his own words against her. Hit. 
him wow so many typos then walked over and gave her a push don giggled as he she slowly gained momentum she took in a cool breath of air and stared up at the bright blue sky things suddenly felt so magical she felt like she was soaring through the sky and paul was there ooh, there to support her she wished that things could be like this forever but soon enough her poke etch beeped signaling that she had one hour before the dance began she spontaneously jumped off the swing startling paul and began running home also confusing paul where are you going he called out home it's almost time for the dance paul groaned and ran panting hard as he chased after her for some reason he felt really excited after seven days of torture, drama, fun, random skits, and annoying older brothers, Paul was finally going with Don to the dance. But even though he was happy, he felt a pang of sadness as well. Even though most of the days had pissed him off so completely, there had been some really good moments, too. He listed all of them in his head. When Don went to sleep in his room, when Don tried to teach me how to cook, Wow, I like how I change it from third person back to his point of view like it should have been. When Don tried to teach me how to cook. When Don took me to her work and I gave her the charm bracelet. The time Don told him she liked him better than Reggie. Yeah, I keep switching in between that. That's a mistake. I'm just going to read it as it is. The time he'd fought with Reggie over Don and caught her in his arms. The day Don had confessed to him. Then when he danced with her. He also thought the day Don fainted in the spa was funny. And then there was the day they went to the restaurant and talked. Then I used the wrong there again. I swear I know how to use them. Then there was today. Today definitely made his favorite days list. Paul smiled a genuine smile as he thought of all those times. All of that led up to this. Today was the end. Today would start or end something beautiful. So I think that the chapter is very cute, but obviously I have this written with typos, which is awful. I swear I know how to use the word there. I'm an English major now. I've always liked this, but I hate proofreading my own work, so yikes. Honestly, it's kind of fun, and it makes me want to read the last chapter, so I might finish this off tonight. But let's look at the reviews for chapter 19. D Master XD. Aw, this chapter was very sweet and sincere. G good job as always. That much I can agree with. It was cute. I, I'm, I'm a sucker for this kind of cliche crap. Skitty 13. So many cute memories. I liked every sin single one. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of a cute scene in a way. EVX me. Hee hee hee. Now all we need to do is sit and watch what would happen to Paul, either get rejected or become Don's boyfriend. LOL, and Reggie just seems so mature sometimes. Reggie knows the ways of the world. <laughs> Sakura Toko. Oh god, Neil. is so exciting. Already I want to know that what Paul will say to Don. Wait with anxieties for the following chapter. I mean... I feel like it's pretty obvious in a story like this, but I'm glad that it got other people interested. Red Hood Lover, I am really looking forward to the next chapter. This was awesome. So I guess the next time I do this, I will be reading the final chapter, which might come immediately after this video, who knows, probably. So stick around if you would like to see that. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoy what I do, subscribe for more content, and I would love to see some of you in another video. Goodbye.